The man charged in connection to the five-year-old Samuel Olson's death is back in court this morning. Benjamin Rivera bonded out of jail overnight. He is charged with tampering with evidence, human corpse. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas joining us now live from downtown Houston with what was said in court. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Andy. Just hours after posting bond, Benjamin Rivera made his way into district court for the very first time. As you mentioned, he is being charged with uh, tampering with evidence involving a human corpse. His bond condition set inside the courtroom just about an hour and 30 minutes ago. Here's a look at Rivera as he approached the judge. The 27-year-old stood in silence as he faced the judge this morning. He was accompanied by his attorney, who lobbied against some of the bond conditions set forth by the Harris County DA's office. We asked for no contact with his co-defendant's family, as well as the family of little Samuel. And we also asked for um, house arrest, which the judge granted. Um, and we asked that he not possess any firearms or be around children. Rivera is the second person arrested in the case of five-year-old Samuel Olson. His former roommate, Teresa Balboa, little Samuel's dad's girlfriend, also arrested in charge with the same thing. According to court documents, Samuel was last seen by teachers April 30th. On May 10th, Balboa allegedly called Rivera to tell him Samuel was dead and at the apartment the two shared. Rivera and Balboa then moved Samuel's body to a bathtub where it stays for two days. On May 13th, Rivera purchased duct tape and plastic tote wrapping Samuel's body in a plastic sheet and placing it in a tote he bought. That is before court records say he and Balboa drove the body to a storage facility in Webster and placed it in a unit there. Again, that according to court documents and testimony given by Rivera himself. Little Samuel's body letter taken to Jasper and discovered in a motel thanks to an anonymous Crime Stoppers tip. He has um, cooperated with our homicide investigator and has been helpful from that perspective. And so uh, we are looking at his statement and trying to verify it with different evidence that we have in order to see, um, in order to make sure that his statement can be trustworthy. And the DA's office would not comment on what comes next in this case. They did, however, say they do believe they have located a murder weapon. They would not elaborate on what that murder weapon might be until further testing is done. Also, just then, our Brandon Walker was in the courtroom. He tells me the judge has made small modifications to those bond conditions. Uh, Rivera not allowed to be around un anyone under the age of 18, but he will now be allowed to be around a cousin who lives at his home who is 17 years old. He is also on house arrest but will be allowed to visit with a bail bondsman weekly. Again, small modifications just came down moments ago. Live in downtown, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News.